Wildson County Schools are almost a month into the start of the school year, if you can believe it. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker went down to Houston County to get an update on how they're doing and adjusting during this pandemic. Good morning, Pepper. What did you find out? Good morning, Aaron. Yes, Houston schools were one of the first districts in our area to start back in early August, and this morning marks their 21st day back in session to be exact. Now, Superintendent Mark Scott says he feels they're doing a good job to, of working out all those kinks. School year, I mean, it was overwhelming, uh, the, just the, the feeling in the schools and, and to see how happy students were. I had parents to tell me that their students were as happy as they had ever been. Houston County Superintendent Mark Scott explains what comes across in these pictures of students in their first month of school during a pandemic. I, I thought our students did a great job coming in uh, and, and following directions they were given by their schools and their teachers and uh, you know, being very compliant with wearing their face coverings and uh, the hand hygiene. With 70% of nearly 30,000 students returning in person, Scott feels they've worked hard to limit exposure with their latest report of 20 positive cases across the entire district. The thing that um, is, is really uh, a positive for us is that we've not had uh, single cases of COVID-19 turn into multiple cases where it, we've had a congregate outbreak or where, where we've had uh, additional students to become ill based on uh, their exposure to a particular student. He's working closely with the State Department of Health and an epidemiologist to monitor each reported case. Now, almost a month into the school year, he says he still believes the early start was best for the district. We feel like so many of our children depend on that face-to-face -face interaction to really get what they need. Uh, and those were parent decisions and parents were able to make those decisions as to whether they wanted the face to face or whether they wanted digital learning. And, um, you know, it's, it's worked out well. Now, Scott says that they are aware that parents have concerns for more individual situations and they'll continue to respond to their needs. Now, one challenge that they're still working on is finding the best way to get meals to their remote learning students. They're coming up with ways to provide more sites for easier pickup. Reporting live in Houston County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thanks for that update, Pepper. The district does have about 9,000 students doing remote learning. They bought about 3,000 additional computers from the CARES Act Relief Fund to help students who needed a device at home.